Hi and welcome to this video log with me Wayne from SwimmingCyclingRunning.com. Slightly different situation today, we're moving our house around and I'm sat in the corner, that's where they put me. Okay, this week we're looking at something that affects a huge amount of swimmers um, and that is shoulder injury and it just occurs a lot because obviously we're overusing the shoulders of swimmers a huge amount, especially when we're doing powerful strokes like butterfly. Um, and if your stroke is slightly wrong, if your stroke is actually exacerbating the problem, then to actually alleviate it becomes more and more difficult. Now, I have a swimmer with a shoulder injury at the moment that's being treated by a physio, but I, I videoed her and I saw something that may help you. Because if you're doing this particular thing with your stroke, then you are exacerbating or potentially exacerbating a shoulder injury. So we're going to go to the computer, have a look, then we'll come back and we'll discuss it. Now it's important to remember that this swimmer already experiences shoulder pain and if we look at the right arm travelling down we can see that that's virtually straight and it's a really long arm and a long lever is a very weak lever. Um, if we actually measure that angle uh, of that arm, um, let's see if we can do that. It's 148 degrees, 147 degrees and that's incredibly weak. What we'd prefer to see, I'll just make that a touch smaller, um, is an angle that went something like that and came straight down the center line. You can see that already looks as if it's going to be a stronger movement than the one she's currently making. If we shorten that down and take the other arm, and you can see once again she's making that very, very long lever, um, which is quite weak. And we'll do that again and we see it's 147 degrees again. So both arms are extending down a huge amount, whereas what we'd prefer to see is to the elbow and then an angle that brings that hand down the center line of the body. Here's a drill you can do to strengthen that arm, make sure you come down the center line. It's a doggy paddle drill that we've shown before. And you can see, if we take this back, that this swimmer is getting into the position 90 degree thereabouts bend and down the center line 90 degree bend center line if we now look at this in a swimming context as the swimmer comes off the wall we'll see that the swimmer gets into a position where that's a really strong arm now if we look closely at that and measure the angle we'll find that that's just about 104 degrees that's a much stronger angle than we saw before and that's something that's going to strengthen the shoulder, improve the stroke and potentially um, be much faster in the long run. And we can see from this clip that bending the arm that 90 degrees leads to a much smoother stroke and a good acceleration at the end of a stroke which is where you actually want the stroke to be. If your arm's straight the only thing you can do at the end of the stroke is actually stroke upwards uh, and upwards is not the direction you want to go because stroking upwards moves you down. Um, you want to move forwards and the only way you can do that is by getting that angle in the stroke and moving backwards throughout the stroke as you see there then ending the stroke and that leads to a very smooth stroke and a powerful stroke. Okay so there you have it. If you extend your lever and press down. You've got a very weak lever, but huge power from the end going through that shoulder. That huge power is liable to destabilize the shoulder and cause shoulder injury. Better have your arm at 50, 90 to 100 degrees and you'll be able to apply pressure much more evenly and strongly because that's a strong lever, that's a weak lever. If you've got shoulder injury, just think about that before you next go swimming. Okay, hopefully that's helped you. Thanks very much. See you next week. Keep well.